guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to garth loves travel um so this is not going to be a long video um i just thought i needed to update the channel i need to put videos out there um you know so that you guys can see something because it's been a while since i've posted anything oh my god i thought that tree over there was like some kind of bigfoot the way the stump it almost looked like you know when the stump was hanging up like there was like some kind of animal standing there staring at me so as you can see I'm over here in the countryside once again. So I just made a turn off of a road as I normally do. It's a beautiful, um, what month is this? August? It's a beautiful August day as you can see out here. Um, it's quite warm, warmer than what I'm uh, actually wearing because yesterday was quite cold. So I'm gonna head down this road um, because I believe there should be a lake down there. Um, so whatever I see along the way, I just bring it to you guys. Well, heading down now to see what's down here. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's such a beautiful day, and when it's a when it's a nice day, um, you know here in the countryside, especially like today is an exceptional day. I mean, it's like a summer day because uh, the last few days it's been pretty cold. Um, I love to go out in the nature, as you can see from the channel, and I like to um, see uh, like the lakes, you know, because like today it's really beautiful. Um, I drove past like some lakes in, on the main road, um, you know, and the waters were like really, really calm. Oh, I wonder what's up there. Uh, I don't really want to drive up there. I'm going to take this this uh, road straight. If anything, I could go back. But yeah, so I like to just drive, um, you know, in, in here in the countryside. Um, for one, you're alone 99% of the time. And two, it's very, very quiet. So it's like a, a very, oh, wow, there's a lot of... Um, uh, potholes so let me slow down um, there's there is it's a uh, it's very um, uh, yeah so it's very quiet so you get time to think um, it's a very it's a very good place to meditate you know if you want to meditate on anything you know or, or or think about anything you know like the Swedish countryside is like the best place to come to and when I say countryside I mean like you know at least you know an hour out of Stockholm you know I, I know there's some areas that are like 40 minutes away but like literally where I am you know we're like three hours away so just imagine that you know there's not that many people that are I'm pretty sure I'm probably the only one doing this right now you know but the camera never brings it off like the way I see it but I try my best but it's it's so beautiful when you look to the right or you look to the left and there's literally like you know just nothing but trees and this like shadow of uh um let me go see what this sign says. you see what i mean guys when you just get off the beaten path and then you go out and explore so i think i'm probably gonna go <coughs> oh <coughs> i think i just swallowed a bug oh <coughs> oh anyway <coughs> Um, I think I'm going to go down this road um, just to see really quick because there's a sign that said it is a, it's a nature reserve and I hear a waterfall somewhere over there. Yeah, I can hear it. Oh my God, this is, I'm so happy to be back here and getting back to doing the things that I love. Um, you know, so like, I mean, look at this, like it's, it's, I don't know, like, you know, do you guys appreciate, comment below, comment below, do you guys appreciate the videos that I bring? I got to look out for these Swedish snakes. I know they're not poisonous or nothing like that, but they're scared the hell out of me. But just the view, you know, right here, it's like, it's like being in like Sherwood Forest out of a, like a movie, you know? Um, so let me go down this road. Like I said, I hear war, like a, yeah, there's a decent sized waterfall somewhere in there, you know, but um, I don't know if I could get in there, but maybe the road will lead to the stream because I can hear it and it sounds pretty nice. It would be nice to see. And I'm definitely, as usual, not wearing the right gear to I don't think it's a good idea to trek in there either because that looks like just swampland. Pardon me if the camera um, shakes a bit. Um, cause I'm going down this, this road here. Um, gonna see what is down on the other end. 
and it's it's so lovely like when you look to the left or the right um at yeah there's the, i hear that waterfall it's like oh okay i see what it is it's a little river aha uh -huh. wait let me get out guys this is what i was hearing it's a river that that goes through like the forest over here i'm sorry for my camera angles i'm really i'm trying to focus on the video and making sure i'm capturing it at the same time i think it's time for me to upgrade to a gopro so there is a river that is going through there as you guys can see i mean it's a small river that's that's the sound i was hearing and i mean guys it's like with you know with with the you know like being in the forest here you know and you know actually just you know seeing the water and then when you look around you know at these beautiful trees and you know like i mean look at it like i could just i i could literally and uh this is something i said on um one of my videos that i should bring a chair inside my car because then i can stop and i can look at these things and you know like the most like the best thing that you could do right now is just to sit here and just if you if you listen to the sound of the river you know and you're just sitting here with your eyes closed which i wouldn't do because <laughs> i don't know what the hell could run across or whatever or, you know i just ate a bug but um yeah but listen guys just listen to the sounds I mean, I know it's not the most beautiful river, but it is one of the most beautiful moments to stand here. And I am the only person here in this forest and this river is flowing through and the sound of the water and nature around you makes you, it reminds you of, you know, like I can get like a, a movie, uh, a movie, um, a movie grade camera and just make a scene you know for youtube you know sounds of nature or something like so, that headed down further because as i said the sign said this is a nature preserve so um i want to see what else is being preserved down here but um now i'm approaching what looks to be like oh uh, a house okay and um yeah another house okay well i guess i need to turn back now because um i am headed into nowhere and i don't want to go into anyone's property which it, which is what it looks like this road is doing or is it taking me through their property um okay so yeah um this road actually brought me to someone's property so i need to get out of here it, it didn't say anything private property or anything it didn't have it didn't have um a sign saying you know private property do not enter just there at the top of the road there was just a sign that said nature preserve so yeah but yeah um, getting out of here um but it's nice to have a home here where you can um just you know walk out here and you have that little stream going oh yeah i said a river guys um it is a stream um so okay so now i'm headed down to see if there's so a now lake. i'm coming up on an intersection and the sign is showing uh, that there should be a lake this way um, to the right um, the other sign is to someone's private house um, and um, now I'm going to see look at these potholes guys I mean these potholes are like 
Oh my God, that thing is horrendous. Luckily I saw it, like the whole car dipped. Um, so let's see what we have here. Okay, sign is showing that there is a lake and I am getting into it. Um, so it must be, oh, there it is. Okay guys, um, let me park the car. So um, out of the car, and once again, there's another sign that says it's a nature preserve. I haven't read that sign yet, but I'm gonna take a look at it in a second. But wow, guys, look at this, man. You see the things you find? I mean, there's so many lakes in Sweden that, you know, it's it's like I've passed, I don't know how many lakes on my way, um, not specifically here, but I passed so many lakes. And then, you know, I was actually gonna get back on the road and then I just saw another road, which there was no sign, there was nothing. It was just a road, you know? And I was like, you know what? Let me just take this road, you know, just to see what was down there, you know? Cause I, I like to, of course, explore. Um, those don't look like dog tracks. Those look like some kind of other animal, but wow, look at this place. Look at this place. <laughs> Look at this place. Wow. Look at this place. Look at this view. I'm the only one here. And if I shout, oh, it echoes. Wow. <laughs> you listen, you can hear the wind blow. I mean, this this is this is like one of those dark. Well, most of the lakes in Sweden, um, they're pretty dark. Um, uh, well, not all of them, but most of them, you know, clearly because it's dirt underneath. So, but it's still it's still pretty safe to um, swim in. You know, um, sometimes you have those Swedish um, rut cola. They swim in here as well, but they're they're pretty much harmless. But, I mean, if I stop speaking, like, like I shout, I, you hear an echo. If I stop talking, wow. This is the type of stuff I love, guys. I, I, you know, I just love just exploring. And, you know, if you didn't, I'm sure most of the people who live in this area you know, come here because, you know, there's the swimming thing, you know, which they take away in the winter time. But, um, you know, look at this thing. And right now there's no one here. <laughs> Absolutely no one here. And it's a gorgeous day today. Of course, the water is a lot colder now, um, you know, because, you know, it's it's August. So in Sweden, it gets a lot colder than it does in other places in August. Like in New York, for instance, you go to New York all the way up until September, October. It still feels like it's summertime outside, maybe even into November, you know, depending on, on, on the days. You know, December sometimes, too. You know, I remember a time in New York on, on Christmas Day, it was like... 80 or 90 degrees, 80 degrees, <laughs> a couple, this was years, a couple years back, you know, so you never know what New, what New York, but we, you know, most places have a longer um, summertime, but Sweden generally, you know, you, you, you get what you, 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 you know, you get what you, um, you take what you get, you know, but anyway, guys, man, this is gorgeous. I live for this. I literally live for these moments, you know, because you have one life to live. So these moments, so those moments, like once I put the camera down, I'm just going to sit down and I'm just going to be quiet and just process my thoughts, you know, process everything, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, everything, you know. And when you're next to water, you're next to nature, beautiful day like this, I mean, you're connected, you become one with everything around you. So guys, listen, I didn't want to make this a long video because I was just, um, you know, on my way to a destination and back. And um, I just decided to explore a little bit and look what I look what I found, <laughs> you know, I, another place that I can put on my list of places that I can. It, well, it's not the closest place, but, you know, it's it's not that I mean, a two, a two, two and a half hour, three hour car drive. To me, at least, you know, if I have nothing to do on my agenda for the day, I take that drive in the, you know, around 10, 11 ish, you know, 
come back home a little bit later. But, I mean, look at this. Love you guys. I love you. I love you. Every single person that stays subscribed to my channel and comments on my videos and um, share my videos, even just taking the time to watch my videos, you know, um, I really, really appreciate it. You know, I, I'm glad and I'm happy that I'm able to share my passion for exploring Sweden and exploring the world with you guys. So peace, love, joy and happiness. Mm -hmm.